diamonds on your neck, bet they on your neck. You want that watch, you better rock and tech. You want the chain, you better cop a vest. You want the check, but can you make it stretch? Welcome to Root Zones, bringing you the good news and the bad news of crypto. My name is Wayne. And my name is Manish. And if you like money in crypto, make sure to hit the subscribe button. So today, we're going to talk about Badger DAO, an exploit that hackers stole $120 million in crypto. Let me share the screen. This is uh, some serious stuff, guys. Because we've been covering a lot of DAO. Uh, DAO was a fork of uh, most of these DAOs was a fork of OHM, Olympus. Olympus was the first to actually create this almost like a US treasury. Uh, in Singapore, you guys will know MES. So someone stole 120 million in crypto by hacking a DeFi website. Dozens of wallets were drained before the Badger DAO could freeze its vaults. So on Wednesday night, someone drained funds from a multiple cryptocurrency wallets connected to the decentralized finance platform Badger DAO. According to the blockchain security and data analytics uh, Perk Shield, which is working with Badger to investigate the highs, the various tokens stolen in the attack are uh, about 120 million. You know, while the investigations are still ongoing, members of the Badger team have told users that they can't believe the issue came from someone inserting a malicious script in the UI, UI means user interface, of their website. So for any users who interacted with the site, when the script was active, it would intercept the web tree layer transaction and insert a request to transfer the victim's tokens to the attacker's chosen address. This is almost like a man in the middle attack. Uh, Manish most likely will cover this because this is his domain. Because mm. of the transparent nature of the transaction, we can see what happened on the attacker's pounds. Uh, Perk Shield points out one transfer yanked out 896 Bitcoin into the attack attacker's coffers, more than $50 million. According to the team, the malicious code appeared as early as November 10th and the attackers ran it as seemingly random intervals to avoid detection. Now, decentralized finance or DeFi systems rely on blockchain technology to let crypto owners perform a typical finance operations like earning interest via lending. Badger DAO promises users that uh, they can rest easy knowing you never have to give up your private keys for your crypto. You can withdraw anytime you like and our strategies are working day and night to put your assets to work. Now, its protocol allows people uh, who have Bitcoin to uh, bridge their cryptocurrency over the Ethereum uh, platform via token to take advantage of DeFi opportunities they otherwise might not have access to. Now, one... Once Badger became aware of the unauthorized transfer, it paused all the smart contracts, essentially freezing its platform and advised users to decline all transactions to the attacker's address. Uh, Thursday night, the company said it has retained data forensics expert chain analysis to explore a full scale of the incident and authorities in both US and Canada have been informed and Badger is fully cooperating with external investigations as well as proceeding with its own. Now, one of the things Badger is investigating is how the attacker apparently accessed Cloudflare via the API key uh, that should uh, been protected by 2FA authentication. While the attack didn't reveal specific flaws within blockchain tech itself, it managed to exploit the older Web 2.0 technology that most users need to use to perform transactions. Multi-factor authentication system protect accounts against many phishing schemes or bulk credential stuffing attacks. Still, experts have repeatedly warned about targeted phishing attacks that can bypass it, while toolkits uh, and automated processes have always been available for years. Now, an FBI notice in 2019 called out for criminals growing capabilities to bypass the MFA and suggested ch uh, changes and trainings that could make such attackers hard to pull. One of the most security-minded teams in the DeFi, uh, getting to FA authentication right can be tricky even with a typical financial application. Just ask PayPal. But incidents like this one or stolen and written 600 million hijack that Polygon uh, network suffered in August uh, or the 53 million highs uh, is the first to ever hit the Dow. Uh, in 2016, hopefully enough uh, expand awareness of secu security beyond protocols and encryption. One commenter within the Badger Discord summed up the situation by saying all blockchain 
smart contract audits in the world and people lose 120 million to Cloudflare API leak by a sloppy team where a dude passes a new approval to his contract in a site header and good going. We still have a lot way to go. A member of the team said, I'm sure we have uh, some mitigation procedures proposed after this. What funds can be recovered is how those affected will be made a whole is still unknown. But anyone living in the world of crypto, blockchain and Web3 apps uh, may ultimately be one of them to learn how approval, signing, transactions really work and keep an eye on them, particularly when millions of dollars in holdings can dis disappear in an instance, even while managed uh, by one of the most security-minded teams in DeFi, as Badger refers to itself. So, um, lending firm also Celsius reportedly affected uh, in Badger DAO uh, exploit. The Badger DAO attack uh, reported uh, reported impacted Celsius network for more than 50 million as a source suggested the cryptocurrency lending firm Celsius has reported over 50 million in exploit of decentralized protocol Badger DAO as reported by Coin Telegraph on Thursday the attack targeted the protocol of the Ethereum network reaping an unconfirmed 120 million according to one redditor the biggest alleged victim of the hack was an address that lost 896 as mentioned the address is supposed to be owned by celsius wow since that it's interacted with other known address now uh the address that regularly transacts with the other addresses has 67 million in balance 40 million of which is celsius uh to address the alleged to be owned by celsius related to one of the address now uh, Celsius did not immediately respond to Coin Telegraph's request for comment. Our uh, Celsius token also experienced a notable drop in the late November after reaching four dollars and fifty cents. Uh, sell dropped to as low as three dollars ninety cents on the next day. Slightly recovered uh, since then. Now, at the time of the writing, sell is still trading at four dollars, which is down nine percent over the past seven days, but around one percent up in the past fourteen days. If, can... if something has not been taken seriously for this decentralized, right, people might lose the trust and they will have a, some kind of scare to investing in. Yeah. So and... I have to do something, some something serious on this uh, decentralized platform. Um, some kind of security measures or some wallet. It should be a highly secure wallet. Uh, I think that's uh, only the hardware which I can think of as of now that it's fully secure. Other Trezor that, and Ledger, right? Yeah. yeah, so I think I think that's one way. The other way, Manish also uh, not to. Put... And we should also do some research whether any hardware wallet was hacked earlier. Mm, I, I have not point. seen this. Yeah, no, I have not seen this. I, I, point. Yeah, yeah. So I have also did a research, but I didn't find anything that hardware wallet. There are cases where the people lost the hardware wallet. They lost entire money. That's a different case. But hacking part, I have not seen that. Yeah, we have to find ways to, I mean, especially as we are growing in the DeFi space, which is very dangerous. There's a lot of scammer. There's a lot of rug yeah, pulls that because happen. Because on the other hand, you have uh, countries who are blocking the exchange and platforms. So we are moving towards decentralized. And when we our money are not safe or uh, we, are, we do not have a proper wallet which can safeguard or secure our money, then it's quite risky, right? Yeah. So you can see some uh, Badger report. I mean, I was just reading the comments here. Um, you know, some people actually just lost their life savings. I was reading. I don't know whether they deleted some of the. Maybe they deleted some of no, the. In Rose Zones also, we have covered many times, guys. You don't put your entire uh, life savings here. Any money which is not in use or you are not going to touch it for next six months or one year, those money you can use it on a crypto part and you can just. Uh, 2x and from there 2x to 3x 4x 5x and then that investment you try to take out your principles and with your profit you start playing this so this yeah. is how uh things should be to reduce the risk yeah so use the c5 uh profits that you gain and i would just call it to gamble in the DeFi space mm -hmm. because it is truly a gamble because you never know either is through an exploit um you know never yeah, and uh, all these the the attractive apys and all those right they are very new these tokens are not from quite long time if you see 
those we have uh, invested in recent days they are very new coins it's it's just been released or just been introduced uh, a couple of not even a couple of months i think october right october month it was it was and today i'm, I'm going to cover another defi defi uh, crypto which is giving a very high returns on us taking yeah. so yeah of course defi do your own research there is a risk here high risk uh, is there so uh, try to invest very little amount take out your principal and then play with your uh, the money which you have on it with that you try to play with in the decentralizing yeah you see some of the tweets my dad is in emergency room losing a lot of blood oh my Please god say, you know uh some people was even talking about their university uh they put it for their children and lost it so when i see something like this i i really wonder you know maybe it's a lack of knowledge um um not knowing i mean for us we also do uh, trade on really high risk uh stakes but we are also careful because we have been hacked ourselves before about five thousand US dollars. Yeah, uh, we, we have been hacked and we have recovered also. Mm. Uh, yeah, we were also disturbed that uh, particular day when we were hacked of five thousand US dollars. It's not. It's not a small amount. Yeah, but is, yeah, our, our, uh, the way we think is okay. Let's move forward, and uh, we we are not a give uh, giving up mindset. No? Of so, course, of yeah. course, and uh, I hope that yeah, uh, maybe the DeFi will slowly have better ways to protect uh, people. So yeah, if you can look at yeah. this, they actually started 1st of Jan. This is the Treasury, the Dow. Most of them are all a fork of uh, Olympus. And you can see that now it's, it's dipping, right? The highest they ever been was $91. Today is 18. I think some people don't even know of this hack because this only came out maybe about 14 hours ago. I think by the time they come to know about the news, they may not even be able to to access uh, Badger Dow. So let's check out the website. I dare not even go to the website now. Maybe my MetaMask may be hacked. But it's okay. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> yeah, because their website is web.2.0. So... Yeah. yeah, Manish, maybe you share with us a bit about web.2.0. Uh, is there something that you know the difference? Or... Uh, the difference is, yeah, that the 3.0 is more secure. Their uh, hypertext uh, transfer protocols are uh, more secure in web 3.0s. Uh, there is the lesser way to um, manipulate your API, APYs. Here, what we have seen is the Cloudflare. Cloudflare is a third party, um, a kind of uh, a traffic, uh, what I can say that it's, a, it's just hitting the traffic. So all user traffic goes to the Cloudflare and from Cloudflare goes to the actual servers. So they, they try to hack Cloudflare and from there they reach to their server web 2.0. So it, it it's something that the hacker is really very smart. The wow, very sophisticated. Is, huh? uh, very sophisticated. The Cloudflare <laughs> is is a gateway to protect that behind the servers. So they they crack that Cloudflare gateway as well. Wow, wow. So uh, it's really and I of think... course there the uh, the oh, the servers where they have hosted their smart contracts and all those that was hosted on a web 2.0. So they find some loophole and they went inside using the script. And after that, the things were there in their control. My God. Wow. This is, uh, I guess that's why we, you know, in, in the security line, patching is always important. Yeah. Always it's... go with the latest ones. Though the Cloudflare, if, if they would have upgraded their web versions to 3.0, so the latest uh, protocols, tools, SSLs, encryptions were in a place, uh, there are less chance to hack it. I, so, I, I agree. Yeah. And even if we can go to uh, GitHub, most likely we will see the actual uh, core scripts that is actually uh, used yeah. for GitHub Olympus. is an open book. GitHub is an open book. So even the last last year, the SolarWind hacking also is just because of the repository. Uh, some yeah. open repository where the, the passwords are very simple in a text format and then their repository was mm. hacked. And... Uh, since their repository was hacked, the patch of the the product was uh, like compromised, and they have uh, deployed their additional codes. 
So when the people started downloading the patch, they installed it in their environments and their environments had some malicious code inside the servers. So after that, they yeah. started. Well, I like the, the concept of DAO. I think it is great. Sadly, these people are not, they may not be technologists to understand yeah. like what Manish is talking about because Manish comes from a background of very deep, uh, technology which I'm still learning from him but uh, yeah you, you know uh, there, there's a lot of layers in terms of security and you know great concepts like the DAO uh, gets exploited and it actually destroys um, you know th those kind of ideas I really hope that those other DAOs that we are investing in now um, you know there's only two kinds of risks right one is being exploited by hackers uh, of course, they're scammers, right? Uh, and, and also the uh, last one is You know, is one thing pool. which I found risk in blockchain environment when I, when I see their audit reports, they don't talk about detail about technology audits. They all talk about tokenomics. They all talk about the different level of audits. But there should be a technical, a security mm. audit of yep. the entire yep. tokens, the smart contract, that should be uh, published. Like if you go to Cardano, Polygon, they really done this kind of audit. Mm. When you when you read through their white papers, they mm. have uh, mentioned that they clear these securities. Mm. And they have also detailed risk they have mentioned it. Oh, if I'll be hacked, then this could be the reason. I think in the previous videos, you have covered one. Uh, one tokens where they have detailed risk they have mentioned it yeah 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 i remember that yeah yeah that, that was so very... that risk was like from wow. the technology layer they have mentioned their technology layer risk also that this could be hacked the Correct. potential risks and all those i so think yeah I think that's why the premium that. coins right mm. cardanos ethereums and uh these polygons, they were gone through the security audits where the new tokens which is coming, right? Their audits, white papers are not so transparent. They are yeah. more into a process. Yeah. Yeah. Conceptual. Tokenomic, conceptual kind of audit. Ah, conceptual not idea. into the security kind of. Mm. So hopefully, hopefully maybe because of this, all the DAO uh, creators and especially for you as a retailer out there, uh, if you actually don't put everything in, in one basket, right? Uh, spread it around because the DeFi space will take time in terms of maturity as compared to like what Daryl yeah, has mentioned. This, this, is, the this is one of the case because you, if your one wallet is hacked, your one address is hacked, it means they can, int they sweep their entire wallet. No, that's why I always say that create multiple accounts inside the wallet mm. so that your address will be changed. At least something you can save it. Correct. But if you people just register in a trust wallet or MetaMask, their one default address, they will get it. And the wallet default address, you know, what, what's the problem? Mm. If, you if you are into an Ethereum network, that's the same address will be applied on a different tokens also. So in an Ethereum network, in your wallet, if you have a Polygon, you have Ethereum, you have Cardano, so that's the one address only for Cardano also. The same address will be applied to Polygon and same address will be applied to uh, many other coins. Yeah. You are talking about the address wallet with multiple Correct. networks. Yes. Mm. So that's the problem. But when you host, when you are holding the coins in exchange, each token has a different address. Mm. And some exchange like KuCoin, uh, no, um, I have seen for Gemini, they have options to change the addresses. Yeah, yeah, white listing. Ah, uh, white listing. Yeah, white leaves, white listing also, and uh, when you would want to deposit uh, money in that particular token, you you can select there. I have seen this Gemini. I was amazed with this technology. Mm. They say that okay, uh, last transfer happened with this address. Do you want to change this to a different address? Wow. Yeah. So these are the things earlier. We get annoyed uh, with this yeah. security prompts and all those. But once we were hacked, I, I I take them very seriously. And then when this kind of features comes, right? Oh, it blow my mind immediately. Oh, they think of this. Oh, okay, they they, they think mm. this. Yeah. So that's that's the one dangerous part which I'm seeing in a wallet. Once you create your account, this one address account Must address be... will be tagged to your all your multiple coins. 
and if you are holding like 100k ethereum 100k polygon 100k all will be washed out yeah i think manish this weekend we most likely have to check out treasure and ledger and i think yeah, we'll do we some will, some research we'll go to that wallet and find out what are the risk we have it in this wallet and we will we probably cover that yeah we will cover how to protect yourself guys i think it's very important because the defi space offer a lot of opportunities for all of us uh and 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 i like i like being able to be free uh from sovereign powers uh from from policies that that try to yeah. undermine my my financial freedom and i believe there's there's so much potential in the defi but what i really don't like is being uh rock yeah, pool is and rock pool and yeah. you know all the defi projects are like uh they are copied from some yes right so when they are copied there'll be a bugs there'll be a loopholes there'll be of a course, gap of course of course and because they copy they don't know how it was written yes and if there's certain updates in terms of scripting to point to certain security libraries they may not even have the capacity to go and yes. update you're right exactly that's what i'm saying mm. so if there is a security audit involved before that token goes live mm. then at least we'll have it what kind of uh, scan was performed what was the finding was given in the audit report will be the security audit reports they can flag out okay the code was weak the the right. protocols which is used was mm. weak there was no encryptions layer exactly. so all these will flag out and we will have a visibilities but this i am seeing is missing for most of the tokens right so guys uh, i think very important point that manish has talked if you notice he speaks a lot very deep dive in terms of technical space so when you read white papers uh, on the dow they talk on very nice concept and how the apys can be half a million or 80000 or 20000 but that doesn't give you the sense of security the concept is great but look at the tech the tech that manish just spent the last 20 minutes just sharing so you so again just as a conscious advice if you want to invest you know like 500 1000 and that i consider the defi space right now as gambling right mostly the c5 on exchanges keeps you safe anything happens they will typically pay you back that money while they conduct investigations like binance or polygon network so that's something wow to... one of our uh, follower subscriber is also a badge holder hey thanks yeah. for sharing this yep I, I didn't understand your last statement. Um, um, do apologize if I I'm not able to uh, read your uh, your name, right? Uh, but but the, the last statement on seventy dollars, seventy USD. I'm not too sure what that means. Uh, uh, because as of now, I mean, if I'm trying to interpret this, is is the highest they ever been was ninety one dollars. But right now it says trading at eighteen uh, US dollars, and I think the reason why. The money has not even dropped to zero. It's partly because they've frozen all the smart contracts, and second, some people might not even know that the hack has happened because this was only about fourteen or fifteen hours away, right? So, yeah. uh, hope hope that helps. I hope you. I I hope the seems like it's a good team, and I hope that uh they do something to recover uh the money for the people, right? For the people. So, yeah. uh, that's all I have managed. And big that BIOS was not spread it. Yeah. yeah yeah it That's was a very good topic when which you have covered yeah. it i think people should be aware of all the hacking which is happening uh, across the world and there should be a uh, causes uh, about where they are holding their monies yeah, yeah. so one money sex, uh, sets up the next segment a uh, very interesting segment uh, join us daily live on youtube facebook and twitter 10 pm singapore time 10 am eastern standard time if you are based in the us and if you like money and crypto guys help us to like the you know the video so that at least more people can reach out to more people and grow our community uh, in root zones so manish take it away yeah so uh, today um, uh, this is one of the decentralized project uh, olympus uh, uh, there are something that which very eye catching when i saw this apy 7101% so i i couldn't resist to come and further a uh, deep dive on this project and find out more about it today we are not going on a uh, detail of the token probably um, some other day we will cover the entire tokenomics or uh, more about the project and the team uh, by the way the team i am not able to find here because the first thing which i just wanted to find the team uh, 
but this APY is crazy. Nowadays, our decentralized projects are coming with a crazy APYs for your staking options. So this centralized decentralized project, Olympus DAO, provide two type of earning a passive income opportunity. One is uh, bonding, I think, and staking. So let's go through and see what this project about. Uh, so Olympus is building a community-owned decentralized financial infrastructure to bring more stability and transparency for the world. Please, uh, yeah, you are doing a good job, but do secure your project also uh, other than scalability and transparency. Yeah. So um, I was going through their documentation. By the way, just to let you know, guys, when you see this kind of format, when the documents are created, uh, it is created in Git book. It's an open source platform to create your project documentations. So it's not that something their website is, is they, like this. It's they are using uh, Git book to host these informations. Only up to here their websites are. <sighs> okay, so uh, what is Olympus? Olympus is a decentralized reserve currency protocol based on OHM token. So OHM is the name of the token when you try to find out. You will be able to go to CoinHako and find out with this OHM. You will be able to see their smart contract address to map it in your MetaMask. You will be able to find your website and all tokenomics related market stats here. Uh, it can tell you what is the all time high, what is the all time low. And look at that all time high. It's crazy. Oh my God, $1,415 for one token. Uh, now it's I think it's less than 50 percent and uh, the current price is six thousand uh, sorry six hundred and forty six so yeah uh, each ohm token is backed by a basket of assets in the Olympus treasury giving it in in strength value that it cannot fall below Olympus also introduced unique economic and game theoretically dynamic into the market through a staking and bonding. So as I mentioned, they are giving a two passive income opportunity, which is your staking and bonding. So um, yeah, the video is quite long. I'm not going to play it today. Probably some other day we will cover uh, this entire project. What is this about? Yeah, there are some information uh, like what is the point of Olympus? Uh, so Olympus goal is to build a policy controlled currency system in which the behavior of the OHM token is controlled at a high level by DAO. DAO, uh, those who are not aware, DAO is kind of stable, uh, stable token. So in the long term, we believe these systems can be used to optimize for a scalability and consistency so that OHM can function as a global unit of account and a medium of exchange of currency. So in a short term, uh, Olympus intend to optimize the system for a growth and wealth creations. All right, so who created Olympus? This is something that uh, very interesting. They don't want to reveal their name. Uh, it's something like Bitcoin. So Olympus was identified by GS and built by distributed pseudo anonymous team. So they don't want to reveal anything about their team. Uh, that's that's one thing which I can see here now. OK, uh, let's see their audit because the audit is also very important. The first audit by Peck Sealed was completed on the 9th of April 2021. It would cover a deployed smart contract at the time. The second audit by, by Omnisia was completed on so and so date. It uh, it covered the treasury distribution staking and bonding smart contract at the time so i think yeah they are just uh, focusing on a treasuries distribution staking and bonding smart can contract so initial network state uh, let's see uh, what's the option they have it for uh, stake lp token 
let me explain you how the staking work what you have to go to it's pretty similar like other token which we are uh, putting for a stake uh, here what you do instead of exchange you stake it you get some very less percentage of apy but here what you had to do is you had to uh, open your metamask buy this ohm tokens here or if you are in exchange you buy there and you can transfer over here uh, the second thing is uh, very important you should be in uh, ethereum network because it's uh, ethereum this uh, token on ethereum blockchain so here you have to buy the uh, olympus and uh, once you buy it it will not reflect here so what you should do it copy this smart contract or just add to metamask it will add the home token here so after i can see your the ohm is already added so once you buy this ohm token think of buying like one token 646 of course it's not a financial advice you can buy even 10 dollar 20 dollars and you can put for a stake so uh, no need to buy the entire one token also and do your own research because these projects are very risky it's a decentralized projects and uh, if you are not securing your money or wallet you might lose it okay so yeah uh, once you come in here you have to connect your wallet by clicking here go to metamask and it will connect your ethereum network uh, it will go to a probably the account which is in ethereum network just click on connect and you are connected to your wallet so once once you have the ohm token you can just go ahead and click on approve after that the smart contract will uh, execute here you uh, and it will take some gas fee from ethereum look at that it's taking around 24 uh, 24 dollars so you should ensure that you have a 24 dollar or some amount in a in the form of ethereum so that they can use the gas fee uh, from the ethereum side and once this approve your entire one single uh, sorry your entire ohm token will be staked and you will be getting an api of seven uh seven thousand twenty one percent so yeah this is how you will get it and stake balanced okay so this is your stake balance s o h m you should also in uh, find out this smart contract of this s h o s o h m how you can find it uh, probably you can find out somewhere here okay so when you see the tokens you here you can see the a o h m okay this is the smart contract all right so from here you can copy the contract addresses s o h m is this one okay current version 2 is this one you have to copy this and add it to your metamask so once you add it to your metamask all your staking rewards will go to s o h m and once you hit your uh, the amount the principal investment you can just take it out so that you can take out your principal and you can continue staking for more profit so that's all i have it uh win i'll just show it to you for the market update thanks thanks manish for sharing that uh let me just share my screen i have something that i wanted to maybe just explain so we have uh the treasury right uh, this is quantitative easing for just some of you it was a concept, of course, uh, most countries will have their the own. The banking systems. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah partly, not, not really. Partly, the, uh, uh, somewhere uh, just related, we can uh, just go yeah. to understand that. Correct. So so basically, all the DAOs are actually this, right? It's just a, a reserve to collect money. Everybody just pull that money together. But they also have something called bonds, right? So it's uh, it, there's an interchangeable mix of words when you ex try to explore the uh, those in the DeFi space, the, the DAO projects, they talk about bonds, they talk about minting. So uh, similarly, uh, not really exactly the same of how QE works, but the minting basically means just taking two different coins. Either they use a stable coin or they use two different uh, coins to create a liquidity pool. 
So when you do a liquidity pool, basically you can buy back uh, tokens with a 15 or 20% discount to, to re-put it into staking. And then uh, when you inject into uh, it back into the financial system, it just creates this open loop of buyers and sellers, right? So that money will then use to actually lend. So you, they may have facilities to actually do lending. Uh, and I mean, I'm talking in reference to the, the, the DAO uh, projects on the DeFi. And if you look at some of these projects, they are now also not only wanting to do borrow and lending uh, for leverage uh, trading, they are also looking at using that funds to create uh, governance. So governance meaning after a while when they, the treasury becomes a certain, uh, it becomes big, it's, uh, it has a total contract lock value to protect investors. They may want to create um, uh, a group of people coming together to vote on maybe we want to bring down the APY or maybe we want to extend the run rate. The run rate meaning how long can this uh, project uh, constantly grow, right? Uh, so if you look at some of these projects, they can go up to close to one year. Uh, Time Wonderland is talking about 420 over days. So, and then the other portion of it is that they want to use this portion of this money to then go into maybe uh, a game fi or go into certain sectors within the crypto space to reinvest that money and generate uh, uh, value, revenue, and back to the investors. So, uh, and the other part of it is that why I'm really for this idea is because uh, in corporate America, in uh, when you generate money, you create corporate entities and corporate entities have costs, very high costs. And secondly, is that you have board of directors that you have to, you have to pay them back. And, but in this project, money goes back to you. So when you look at the banking system and then you look at the treasury system and when you look at the DAO uh, in the DeFi space, what you find uh, is that, is that uh, the middleman is taken out. And mm. a lot of, there is a lot of money, guys. There's a lot of money. That's why they can give you every five days. The range can be anything from 8% to 100, uh, sorry, to 12% every five days. So we, if you do the both are also for, trying the Metaverse Pro, right? That is also a high, uh, high. Uh, APY. Yeah, 500,000 APY. Five. Yeah, the, the five days uh, ROI is about 12%. So, so for that Metaverse Pro, which we covered in that video just a couple of uh, days ago, uh, for every $1,000, you're going to get paid 120 for every five days. So if you look at a month, if you times that by uh, five days into, into 30 days is times six, right? Uh, you, you, you are taking about 500, almost $500 and not to mention it's compounded daily. So, yeah. so it's, it's crazy it's a crazy time and the only way the only way that you can lose that entire money is the person rug pulls or uh like in this example we actually had an exploit uh through a very known uh technology that even me and manish we are in that field which when we saw this news we can't believe it because it's a very good cloud fair is a very good and i really hope that cloud yeah, fair yeah. come back with a statement and say no it is the exploit is not us. We've been in this business. It is from a blockchain or from a protocol exploit or from the wallet that integrates to the through the API. So more news to come out maybe in the next couple of days as they do the investigation and things start to unfold. I'm very interested to really know this because I like the concept of the banks. I don't like the concept of us as retailers being ripped out of our hard-earned money because our assets in the old traditional finance cannot generate this kind of uh, uh, money. But at the same time, we got to weigh the risks, right? So um, I just wanted to share this. So, so those who don't know about Cloudflare, Cloudflare is uh, a website security company that provide a content delivery and DDoS migration service. It uh, service occurs between the website visitors and the Cloudflare customers. So uh, what it does is it hides the actual IP of the system and it it uh, bind it with their own IP address. So you will not be able to find the actual server IP addresses. They front uh, they front all the traffic and then uh, internally right. they route it to the servers. Mm. Yeah. So your public address basically you can't find. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, uh, thanks Manish for sharing that deep insights. Uh, for those who are watching this video later offline, if you have any questions on the technicalities, you can always uh, look out for Manish, right? 
so let's check out what's happening over on the market side of things. Uh, fear is uh, prevalent and partly because of the uh, C19 and also now with this new hack in the Dow, maybe all that would cause. Looking at the stock market, of course, this was C19 just one year ago. Right now, we are climbing back up with the new Omicron uh, virus and um, you know people will just continue this if these things start to skyrocket you will start to see prices of oil become zero um, you know and then maybe some of that money may come into the crypto space I don't know right but uh, there's a looming fear that is growing now and people are looking at the uh, inflation that is growing over the last 30 years only recently they just published I've covered that news and um and people wants to find better ways to actually hedge against that so if you don't understand how that works imagine a 15 percent inflation uh you had a one million dollars today in five years that one million dollars would become half a million dollars so you lose 50 percent of your money and in basically your coffee now that is uh maybe a seven dollar starbucks coffee would probably be Fourteen dollars. So there was a question that asked Wendy's. If you guys know Wendy's or McDonald's, the price of the burger was uh, five dollars. It went up to ten dollars. Example, just don't quote me. And it's not that the burger price went up. It was because your purchasing power of the dollar became smaller. So you have to pay more money to get the same amount of burger. Right. That's another way of looking at it. So that that is why we are very adamant about getting out of the fiat dollar. We are buying really hard currencies to generate income in the crypto space and not ever converting that back out uh, into fiat dollar, which is actually devaluing. So if you look at bonds market, the bonds market, although it shows positive, actually because of the negative uh, inflation, your bonds actually is null and void. You are actually just sl slowing the growth of uh, losing money, right? So. So the crypto space so far provides us that gold also is another safe haven and of course real estate only three countries in the world the US the Australia and the UK right the UK uh, can can give you positive yields the rest of the world is all negative uh, yields especially yeah, yeah, here in Singapore states, right? yeah. we we the government had to come out with a 5 year MOP plan only because is if you try to flip houses here in Singapore you you don't really make much margins right so real estate here is just for home we don't have much land so just wanted to share a bit of uh, economics to you guys so uh today is a bloodbath uh, again for me this is like christmas time meaning whatever cash flow we have we constantly the color buy also of christmas no? yeah yeah it's a christmas season guys so um i guess i i haven't checked out what plan b had to say about missing the 98,000 Bitcoin, uh, there could be some reasons to, to that. I will check it out and maybe tomorrow we'll cover that. Uh, let's go and see. We have 15,000 cryptos. So cryptos are going every day. Most of these uh, uh, concepts are not new. If you were to look at the DAO, again, the mother of that was Olympus, which Manish has covered. Everything else is a fork of that. And uh, so we always try to find the originator of uh, the cryptos and it's only far and few in between. 400 over exchanges, um, 2.5 trillion. We are slightly dipping in terms of money coming into the crypto. Bitcoin, of course, 41% dominance and Ethereum 20%. Top three coins, Nevada, Metadog and Kom Koromaru. Hmm. Last 24 hours, Bitcoin is down by 2.63, Ethereum down by 3. BNB down by 2.33, Solana down by 2.98, Cardano down by 7.83, XRP down by 2.70, Polkadot down by 4.61, and Dodge still in the top 10, down by 3.202. Wow, three... Terra Luna, even if in this kind of market, is still performing well. Yeah, Terra Luna is a, is a stable coin, if I'm not mistaken, for Cosmos. So mm -hmm. uh, they have, uh, I was checking out the Cosmos website. I think uh, very nice architecture, uh, the network. You can see very beautifully done. Uh, mm. let's, let me see, show you the, let me show you the, if I can, I think I went, I'll try to find that site guys, because very beautiful ecosystem that they have created, I think is this, let's see if I can go to start staking. No. Uh, yeah, I have to, I have to find that. I actually got got in touch with that, and I was I was amazed of uh, was it this? Let's see, yeah, I gotta find it, guys. But but very nice ecosystem. They showed how uh, Terra Luna was the stable coin for this entire Cosmos uh, ecosystem, 
and I think it's uh it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. I haven't done full research in that network. We are still focused on other networks. There's a lot to learn on this. So stay tuned to Root Zones. We'll bring you uh we'll take all the complexity and make it easy so that you guys can quickly learn, ramp up and make quick decisions. Uh let's talk about the price prediction again. Just um it's edutainment, right? Entertainment basically in education. So don't take this. Yeah, no one has the crystal ball basically. So Bitcoin, of course, is uh ninety eight thousand to two hundred fifty thousand Ethereum, uh five to ten thousand BNB, one thousand, Solana two hundred to three hundred fifty, Cardano three to five, XRP twenty, Polkadot eighty five to hundred, and Dodge one dollar. Uh, total market cap, of course, uh, we are kind of dipping back down, so money is flowing out from the markets. Uh, very high bearish, right? So bears mm. are coming in, but of course, momentum seems to be bullish. So, uh, we are still on the high end of the Bollinger uh, EMA. So, also the twenty EMA is higher than the hundred and forty EMA. The Mister Yellow is higher than the Greens. So, Bitcoin typically. Taking fifty percent will still model again the chart of the Elliott wave still shows right A B C D E and then it crashes and then now we have this A B C now we are going back down so there will be another offshoot before we actually hit the crash so stop on that cash reserve because when the time comes for the bears that's the best time to actually buy into crypto. Uh, Ethereum almost model uh, Bitcoin because it takes up that remaining twenty percent, and uh, yeah, I think that's all I have. Uh, gaming has slightly deep. Of course, if you look at the daily charts for block, we are back hitting the uh, the Fibonacci at uh, ten cents right now. So the next support level will be at nine cents. The best time would have bought just a couple of weeks ago was five cents. So if you got at five cents and sold it at fifteen cents, you would have almost made two x. And that would have been it's, this is a J day chart. You would have only had to wait thirteen days, guys. Right. So so trade this on the way up. Right. Uh, Metaverse is very hot now, especially Hero and both our partners, Hero. Oh, had a big candle up, had a big candle down, um, but right now we are still at the height of twenty two cents. So both price predictions still one dollar is is where they need to hit, and then later they will start to expand that further. TCP of course is a great buy right now. It has dropped over sixty percent. Um, uh, do check it out. Uh, uh, do check TCP out uh, to see if there's something that you would like to invest in. That's something that you can go. Polka City also. I've been looking at it. Uh, we had a very nice high at three dollars. Right now, it's half price, right? One dollar fifty cents. Um, maybe, maybe I might go in. Maybe not. Uh, it depends. So, mana also good buy. Um, right now, hit back on it. Actually, retrace back to sixty cents, right? From its high of uh, five dollar ninety cents. Sorry, this is not sixty cents. Sorry, zero point six eight one is at four dollars, right? So from six dollars down to four dollars. Maybe the next support level will be at about three dollar sixty cents. So that's something you can look at. Gala, uh, also deep. So most of all, the metal. All this, yeah. Most of the coins you can. It's a buying yeah. opportunity, right? Yeah, I remember I was drawing this Fibonacci somewhere here, Manish. You look how yeah. high it actually went. Broke my Fibonacci. I haven't really looked at this for a long time, and it broke up to two point six x. Crazy times. Sen, also deep. So. Look out for the metaverse this weekend. Maybe this weekend will not be the bull. Maybe this is the best time to actually buy because we know some of these coins, uh, have the potential to explode, even engine. So that's all I have, guys. Uh, do check us out. Do subscribe to the channel if you are new. I will see you too, uh, soon tomorrow, same time, same channel. Yep. See you tomorrow, guys. Till then, take care. Take care. Happy guys. the weekend is coming. So. <laughs> yeah. You want that watch, you better rock and tech. You want the chain, you better cop a vest.